Hey guys, this is uh, Mr. Tech Guy 189's first video. Today I have a Compact Rosario 850 that I picked up recently for free. And just some basic specs are a five and a quarter inch floppy drive, a three and a half inch floppy drive, power switch instead of a button, and I'll show you some specs on the back. Okay, back here we have a parallel port to you to um sorry a mouse and keyboard port, serial port, and the VGA port, which is actually kind of interesting because if you look, there's a spot where there's actually no space for a pin for newer monitors, so I can't use my new cable, so I have to use an adapter over there, because this cable is way too short. Uh, I have a modem on here. Power supply, obviously. This was, if you can see here, I don't know if you can read it, compact product of the USA, amazingly. Made in 1993. Oh, back when compact was actually compact and not HP. And I'm gonna um, fire her up for you. So bear with me while I put the tripod on and uh, be ready to go. <laughs> This is actually my uh, TV, but it's set up for use with my computer, and just about ready. All right, let's turn it on. This has uh, four megabytes of RAM. I first got this computer, I opened the case, I was like, oh crap! So there's no RAM sticks in it, actually. It's actually onboard RAM on the motherboard. So, yeah. And it's, uh, same way I'm out, have any of that. It's testing memory. This computer has no USB ports. Windows 3.1. Can zoom a little bit more here. This has all original things except I actually added, sorry about the line. Lines in the, I added some games, Tetris, Minesweeper, Cruel, Golf, Tapai, maybe Idlewild and Pegged. It came with um, Solitaire, I don't know where that went though, it was on here. Um, the, the only thing I can't see me working with this is a uh, CD drive. I've tried, I tried a um, DVD drive. Which that worked better than the CD drive. I think it might just be a faulty CD drive. Uh, when you would press the button to open the door, the, um, the light on there would blink, and so would the little access light on the red right of the power. So on here, I could just show you a little few things. On the main, it's got file manager, control panel, print manager, clipboard, MS DOS prompt. Windows Setup, PIF Editor, and README. We're actually going to go to File Manager, pull up the hard disk, there we go, um, and we're going to, I'm going to show you, this hard drive is actually about a half a gig, I believe, and, uh, here at C slash Windows. Oops, C windows. All the files. And this hard drive, let me see if we can put the properties. Uh, hard drive. Uh, but you can get on the keyboard. It has. Uh, oh, that's a file, sorry. Um, let's see if we could just go directly to the hard drive. Um, Okay, here we go. Oh, well, let me show you the properties. Okay, anyways, um, I know a lot of the shortcuts for this. And that's pretty much it. But, I mean, this is a really awesome computer. And then also, I'm going to show you some other things that I have recently acquired. I got this. Uh, um, sorry, guys. Keyboard. It's an old compact 
curvy one. It's not actually curved like the keys, but the uh, outside of it is. I actually really like this keyboard. I got the keyboard for free. Didn't know if it worked. Didn't know anything about it until I got it. Cleaned it up real good with some Quox wipes. And um, vacuumed it out and everything. I did take some keys out. The rest I actually used a screwdriver. Pushed on the Quox wipe to clean in between the keys. That's compact. That matches this computer very well. And then I have this compact mouse I got from a school. Uh, and get one and one. I said, hey, I'll take that. And I have one other thing to show you that I just got. Note B, this old Toshiba uh, laptop hard drive. It's a 30 gig IDE. And um, I don't have any old Toshiba laptops. I don't have any old laptops that use IDE. All I have is uh, a SATA. So I don't know if this actually works. I don't know if you can see there. Um, it's got the old Toshiba lo logo there. Uh, it's a 30 gig. Uh, Toshiba Corporation made in Philippines. If you look at the back, it's actually got a teal blue motherboard, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, mm, it's pretty nice. Oh, and one other thing about this compact. Uh, it's got all original parts. Except I don't have the original power cord. Obviously, I don't know if that's... I'm pretty sure that is not the original keyboard or mouse. But, um, you know, I mean, they're compact. They'll work. I don't have a screen. When I, when I got this, they had a screen that's really old HP printer. I didn't take either of them because I had to go fast. I was uh, giving my friend a ride uh, home and he's going to be late and he had to go somewhere right away and I'm lucky as able to stop and go in and get this but um, you know I was able to and I went back and there's still some stuff there later on but um, you know I didn't really want it wasn't like the better compact monitors, it was an older one, and it wasn't the greatest. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a compact monitor now. So, if you know any that can get it free or really cheap, let me know. If you have any computer stuff you want to send me, I should. And my, I have another computer to give you a little uh, synopsis of that's actually broken. But, you know. Um, so for now guys, this is, uh, sorry, <laughs> Mr. Tech Guy 189 signing off. I uh, actually have one more thing to show you. Um, this is actually the motherboard in the Compact Rosario 850. As you can see here, this is the uh, processor, but surprisingly enough, there's no fans except for the one in the power supply. Um, here's the four SIM RAM slots. Here, these are really cool. These are for the drives, but it's got it's a pointed, it's orange, and this is really neat. I thought. Um, now this is your normal IDE connector. If you take a look at this one, look at that, and this works just fine with IDE. You zoom in so you can see here. Look at that. Front. Um, a weird thing about this motherboard is there are actually no typical capacitors at all. None. If you look there, there's there's none. And there there's a couple on the modem, but that's about it. I think there's a few in the um, power supply and the floppy drives, but there's none on the actual motherboard, which is really interesting. And it has a, yeah, you can't really see here because it's a little light, but, um, right there's the CMOS battery. It's actually a lot bigger than normal ones. And it doesn't have your standard ATX motherboard power supply ports either. It doesn't have your 20 pins, but there's two different connectors there. So, that's pretty much it. There's a built-in speaker there. But, um, this is Mr. Tech Eye 189 signing off.